Yeah. What is up guys, it is Bowshot and I have a brand new infected best hiding spots on the map arcade in and these are some pretty good spots here today. There's not really any amazing spots like some of the other maps where you're completely invisible but these ones will do and they're alright. And I also have a new kind of thing here, tell me if you like it, I got the, the first person and the third person going on at the same time. So first of all, we're starting here in the back of the map, and we uh, hiding in a little darker spots, kind of like that. And um, there's some pretty sweet spots all the around this map. Just make sure you're not noticeable in any of these spots, and you should be good. Like that trash can's pretty good because people w will just r walk right past you right there, and uh, that's always a good thing on infect. And if you're trying to be last alive or anything. And then as long as you have the thing that makes your name invisible, people shouldn't be able to see you at all. Just like that one kind of there in the corner, no one really walks past that. But you just kind of go to look for spots like that, like this little spot over here in the corner right there. That's always a good spot to be in. Uh, it's a pretty good spot to try and be last alive in. And uh, as long as you have all this uh, stuff on that makes you invisible from UAVs and stuff, you can last through the end. And that'll be pretty sweet. Since you are last alive on Infected, you get a ton of points for being one of the last survivors. So just kind of, that's the reason I'm doing this, since they uh, patched all of the good spots. And I, I've i heard the rumors saying that they may take off throwing knives or something. And then all the glitches might bring them back. But I don't know, it could happen, it could happen. You never know. If enough people complain, they might do that for you guys, but... You never know. Here's always a good spot right there on that little couch. Couches are usually a good spot. And this one's also pretty good. It's right out of the way. No one really looks there. It's a pretty good spot. And then I have a few over here that are great spots. Like right there. No one ever checks there. Um, and then you can also go over here into this corner. And also no one ever checks there. And then there's this little flower garden right here. And once you go to into it like you're pretty much not visible from the ground level in this little garden i'd say that's one of the best spots and i really like that spot and it's pretty sweet and then once you go up this hill you can also lay down right here next to this little ledge and people will just walk right past you because that's the way they kind of go up that way and they shouldn't see you and then this one's also pretty good you just kind of hide right behind that little slab there no one will really see you, they'll all just walk right past you. And uh, this one's pretty good too, right behind the doorway. This is, uh, most people use that as an entrance and not really as an exit, so they won't see you there. And also, same thing right here, no one goes through the opposite way, but they come in that way and they'll just walk right past you. And uh, it's kind of wrapping up all the spots on this map, but here's a really awesome one right here. Uh, yeah, that's just a sweet spot. No one should ever see you right there. It's, I love that spot. It's kind of on fire and stuff too, which uh, makes it a lot easier like that. And then we have some spots in this little room. That's an awesome spot right there. You're pretty much invisible, kind of blended with all the debris and stuff right there, which is, uh, I like that. And this one's kind of out of the way, which makes it decent. And so is that one right there. Sorry if it kind of got blocked off from my uh, first person screen, but you know. And then these bushes, it's a classic spot. There's not many bushes on this map, but that is the one bush that always works out for you. And when you come into this little kitchen right here, or whatever you want to call it, Burger Town or something like that, uh, you can always hide in the dark corners right there, dark bush right there. Um, this is a pretty good bush over here. Can't really jump onto it straight like that, so you gotta jump from over on these bushes and uh, once you're up here you just jump over there it's a really dark corner uh, which m helps make you not as visible which is always a plus and then the classic counter I don't know if that's a really great spot because a lot of infected people hide there anyways just shooting at people so I guess it'd be pretty good if you're hiding with a bunch of dead bodies but you never know and uh, that's a pretty good one if you get down there on the the counter level or whatever not the higher one and here's some more you just kind of blending in with the debris of the map and stuff like that 
and the classic uh a lot of people like to hide in this one this is a pretty good spot if you think about it and that's about gonna wrap it up uh, you don't got many spots left that's a pretty good one right there kind of and uh that's about gonna wrap this map up not many more hiding spots on it but i'll be posting a lot of glitching videos so if you like that kind of stuff don't forget to subscribe to me and you'll see a lot more stuff like that uh thanks for watching guys uh, i'll see you guys later peace out and don't forget to subscribe